peak oil is the point in time where the maximum level of global oil production has been achieved. Following this point, caused by either a depletion of supply or a reduction in demand, the amount of oil extracted over the following years will become less and less. The importance of this topic has attracted many to ponder and predict when peak oil might occur. But so far, many theories have proved incorrect. Since the mid-19th century, global oil production has gone in one direction, up. Despite recessions and depressions, the amount of oil production has been steadily increasing to a peak of just over 4 billion tonnes of oil or oil equivalents in 2018. But in 2019, something very strange happened. Production fell. Slightly, but without any major catalyst other than a decrease in demand and again falling in 2020 due to the COVID pandemic. And with the pandemic bringing about permanent changes to our lifestyles, resulting in lower demand for oil, the question can once again be asked, have we reached peak oil? Or is this time not really so different? If you want to see more content on energy, history, and our world, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to be alerted to future uploads. The theory of peak oil was introduced in a 1956 paper by geologist Marianne King Hubber, where he predicted that peak oil production in the US would occur somewhere between 1965 and 1971 and would occur globally in the 2000s. In hindsight, this prediction was wrong, but he wasn't the first person to make such a prediction. In fact, predictions go so far back as the early days of the Pennsylvania oil industry in the 1880s and the early 1900s when the post-World War I environment prompted many to predict that peak oil was nigh. In 1921, Victor C. Anderson, president of the Colorado School of Mines, stated that the average middle-aged man of today will live to see the virtual exhaustion of the world supply of oil from wells. The US Department of Energy had predicted that peak oil would occur by the 1990s, Esso and Shell by the 2000s, BP by 1985, and in 2007, the head of Saudi Aramco predicted that oil production had already peaked in the year prior. So why were all these predictions wrong? Well, in the 1970s, Hubbard's theory was beginning to play out perfectly. US oil production had reached a peak and began slowly falling, whilst the 1973 oil embargo shocked the markets, causing oil to increase from just over $3 to $12 a barrel in a couple of years. Yet now, both the US and global oil production is higher than ever, surpassing rates of the 1970s. Many of these predictions claimed that the depletion of sources would be the key reason in the timing of peak oil, but they didn't account for one thing, and that is human ingenuity. Conventional oil drilling pumps oil that freely flows between rock formations in the ground. The natural pressure from these wells allows it to be easily accessed from the surface. Whilst many of these reservoirs have been depleted, there is still plenty of oil available that was previously inaccessible without the invention of advanced drilling techniques. Hydraulic fracturing or fracking and horizontal drilling are two examples of advanced methods of drilling. These techniques have been used to access sources of oil such as tar sands or shale, which were previously inaccessible. Whilst these advanced methods are generally more complex and expensive to run, higher oil prices mean that companies are incentivized to use these techniques to drill oil. Hubbard believed that price did not matter when it came to oil production, but at $150 a barrel of oil, humans are incentivized to find oil in places that were not financially viable to produce at $75 a barrel. But of course, supply is only one part of the equation. Every day, the world uses roughly 95 million barrels of oil. Most of this is consumed in two main sectors, transport, which accounts for 60% of demand, and industry and petrochemicals, accounting for another 20%. Whilst we're seeing a switch to electric cars in many countries, global sales of petrol and diesel cars are still growing despite losing market share to electric cars in some markets. 
but many forms of transport, such as ships, planes and industrial vehicles, will not be replaced in the near future, as there are currently no viable alternatives. Whilst petrochemicals can include products used in plastics, fertilisers, glass and cosmetics. Demand for oil can simply be determined by asking the question, are people buying more things? The middle class of many emerging markets has been expanding, leading to more disposable income for these populations. According to estimates from the World Data Lab, India, the world's now largest population in the world, is expected to see 600 million people join the middle class, representing a spending power of $10.5 trillion. A similar trend is seen in China, where their middle class is projected to grow by 6% each year till 2030. This increase in disposable income around the world represents more consumer spending, representing a greater demand for oil. Population growth is another factor contributing to demand for oil and is expected to increase by another 2 billion people by 2050, according to the United Nations. This is part of the reason why most major analysts predict oil demand and therefore production to continue increasing over the next decade, suggesting that we might not yet have hit peak oil. The International Energy Agency predicts that global oil demand will reach a record 102 million barrels per day this year, with production expected to be met from non-OPEC plus nations such as Canada and the US whilst OPEC predicts that demand could reach over 108 million barrels per day by 2030. Whilst history tells us that we must take predictions of this nature with a pinch of salt, global trends do suggest that with current population demographics and a lack of an immediate alternative for many transport methods and oil-based products, we are unlikely to have seen peak oil just yet. Thank you for watching Olive Stripe Productions. If you enjoyed this video and want to see future videos on a wide range of exciting topics covering energy, history, and our world, subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to be notified of future videos.